Let's bring in Michael Gagan now. He's a political analyst joining me from Williams Lake, British Columbia. Michael, great to see you. Thanks for having me. So a lot of talk now with regards to this uh, panel, this fair deal panel, if you will, that Jason Kenney is putting forward. Uh, so give us sort of the both sides of the, of the issue here. Sort of on their side, there's going to be the argument they've got to do whatever is best for Alberta. But it's also raising a number of concerns, uh, bringing up that whole issue of separatism all over again. Well, I think there's a number of factors going in. First of all, I don't think there's a general understanding amongst Canadians that, for example, the Canadian dollar is a petrodollar. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 you know, notwithstanding our, our concerns about climate change, uh, and they are serious issues, it's like our economy and our dollar is still very much linked to the oil and gas sector. So I think this provides an opportunity for Alberta to highlight that, that fact. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Albertans are looking to Quebec uh, they've seen how successful Quebec has been. I mean, it's been sort of caustically referred to as checkbook federalism. Mm -hmm. And the amount of money that's gone into Quebec, the amount of favoritism as Albertans see it that's been shown to Quebec. And they're saying, hey, if you can't beat them, join them. Maybe we should start using some of the, the techniques that have been used so successfully by Quebec, right. uh, at both the provincial and federal level. Let's bring in the Liberals into this discussion here. And, of course, Justin Trudeau, knowing that he's going to wanting to be meeting with the various uh, premiers. We know that he's also meeting with, um, you know, the, the various leaders in the House as well. He'll be meeting with Andrew Scheer on Tuesday. I'll ask you about that in a minute. But let's bring that element into this. What message is what, what Kenny's doing? What message is that sending to Trudeau and the Liberals, uh, of course, being in a minority government? And how should Trudeau be handling this? Because... Certainly, he's, he's jumping into this saying we need to unify the country, but it's not going in that direction. I think what Jason Kenney's doing is he's raising the stakes to Trudeau and saying, uh, if you don't get the Trans Mountain Pipeline built, there's mm -hmm. going to be serious consequences in terms of the continued uh, integrity of this country. Uh, and so what that's going to mean is that that actually helps Trudeau. Uh, and it also puts pressure on Scheer because what Kenny is basically saying is, look, you want to hold this country together and you don't want further fracturing then you two learn to work together, at least in terms of getting that pipeline built. Mm -hmm. I, think, I, think that's, I think that's a big part of the game plan that's going on here. And now this meeting that we know that's going to be happening between Trudeau and Scheer on Tuesday, how much of that, talk of the West, you reuniting the West with the rest of the country, how much is that going to play into those discussions, let alone having these two leaders uh, being able to sit down and say, how are we going to make this government work? Yeah, I think it's going to play a significant role in the discussion. Um, and like I said, if, if Trudeau is going to try and build the, the pipeline that he's nationalized, the only partner he can dance with in the House of Commons is the Conservatives. So mm -hmm. he needs to have the Conservatives on board for that. Otherwise, it ain't going to be built. And obviously, from Jason Kenney's perspective, he's going to be telling Scheer, look, play, Trudeau, uh, play ball with Trudeau, at least on this issue. Mm. On other issues, it's up to you. But on this one, you need to play ball. Certainly going to be tricky for Scheer as well, considering the Conservatives didn't accomplish what they meant to. And he could be facing uh, a review in April. Yeah, I mean, we've certainly seen from Peter McKay and others some clear signaling that they were unhappy with the results. Um, and certainly uh, there are a number of conservatives that I've talked to mm -hmm. uh, who feel that it, you know, a, a review is, is certainly a distinct possibility or, 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 or having him dumped as leader. But it, it'll, we re it remains to be seen as to what the Conservative Party and its membership decide. There is a lot. The election may be over, Michael, but there's a lot to delve into here. All right, we'll keep a close eye on things. Michael Gagan, always a pleasure chatting with you. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome.